machinist like me, then I know you've wondered if you could go fast. Well, the answer is yes. I'm gonna show you guys a marvel of modern technology that's gonna allow you to take your cycle times down and your productivity up. I'm gonna show you guys a super cool feature on this machine that you might already have installed and you just have never used it or don't know how it works. Now this feature can save you literally hundreds of hours of cycle time every year and you don't even have to do anything special. But if you would like to do something special, you could go ahead and subscribe to this channel. 75% of the people watching this video right now is not even subscribed to our channel. But with your help, and your considerable donation of one subscription per person, we can get that down to 74%. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so if we jump over here to our Siemens 840D control, we're going to go to the M, we're gonna page over, and we're gonna go into our ACM suite. And what does that mean? Let's find out. So if we go in the ACM suite, you see, it's offline right now. So we're gonna hit the online button and the machine control already knows what program we have loaded. And right now it's in training mode. All we have to do now is run our program just the way we have it programmed. We don't need any special codes. This isn't like Donnie Swiss machines where you have to put in all these M codes, weight codes, G codes, macros, none of that. And while our program's running, the machine is gonna be learning based on torque values and different things like air cutting. So without further ado, let's run our program. Let's make some chips. All right, so if we take a look here at the screen, we can see that the machine's monitoring the amount of torque that we have on our spindle right now. So it's sensing what the ideal torque is that we have programmed into this tool. And it's also noticing anytime it's air cutting or anytime that that torque value is reduced. Yes, glitter. Now, if you're running a Siemens 840D control and you don't see this option, this is something that can be added after the fact by Siemens. And once you see what this software does, you'll understand why it pays for itself. All right, so if we take a look, our current cycle time is eight minutes and 59 seconds. That's with our spindle override, our feed rate, and our rapid all at 100%. Now I programmed this as efficiently as I could. We were running at 700 inches a minute, and then anytime we were back feeding, it was at 1,000 inches a minute. So let's see how ACM can make my program even better. All right, so once we go into operating mode, we go into our operations. So you see it put our end mill in there, our spindle speed, the tool type. This data that it saved is gonna only apply to this tool in this program. If we go and look at our operation state, right now we're excluding this from the ACM, but if we turn on adaptive control, now we can go into our operation settings and here we can tell it how much it's allowed to increase the feed rate during in cut and during in air moves. So now let's tell the machine that it's allowed to increase its feed rate by 50%, and then we're gonna run our program one more time and see what happens. Ooh, check that out. So we can actually see now the points where the machine's control is actually adjusting the feed rate by 50%. Now, I wanna be very clear about something. This is not the same thing as just turning your feed rate knob up to 150% or going back to your cam platform and speeding things up by 50%. What's actually happening is the control is dissecting every little bit of this tool path and it's looking for any torque reductions, maybe a shallower cut is happening, maybe it's air cutting, and it's gonna speed up as much as it wants to between the 100% mark and the 150% mark that we told that it could go to. Oh yes, eight minutes and nine seconds. So you can see we didn't even have to lift a finger and we shaved more than 10% off of our cycle time. Now, this was a nine minute program. So imagine if this was like a 10 hour cycle time and we just knocked off an hour and you did that over and over and over again in a production run. That's why ACM is awesome. And that's why it's something that if you're not using, you should be. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something today and I'll see you guys again soon.